Lord Lieutenant, Major Sylvia Parkin, and Deputy Mayor, ladies and gentlemen. VE Day is a very important day. 73 years ago today, we won the war in Europe, but not without high cost. It is right we celebrate that victory. It is also right that we remember those who had to bear the brunt of that cost. The Royal British Legion's mission is to safeguard the welfare, interest and memory of those who are serving or have served in the armed forces. Today, the nation and the Royal British Legion will show that this memory lives on, that the nation cares for and supports that memory, that it is proud of the servicemen and servicewomen who serve our country and the sacrifices they have made for you. On behalf of the City of Wolverhampton, Central Branch RBL, I thank you for supporting this parade and service today and showing that you, the good people of the City of Wolverhampton, remember the courage and bravery of the men and women who served, in many cases, died for this country in World War II. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce our Padre and lead us in prayer, please. Thank you. Let us pray. As we give thanks to God today for the return of peace to Europe on this day in 1945. We give thanks also for that peace that we have enjoyed since then. For the growing friendship and deepening relationships between nations that were once at war. God of all nations, whose kingdom rules over all, have mercy upon our broken and divided world. Shed abroad your peace in the hearts of all people and banish from them the spirit that makes for war. Help us all to learn to, give, to live together as members of one family in obedience to your laws and surrounded by your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God of love, in whose will is our peace, set your peace in the hearts of people and of nations, that we may grow together, deepening friendships and bonds as members of one family, and live together in peace and in justice, now and always. Amen. Together we say the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Stanabares, Stanabares, shunt, carry, standard. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
Standard! Hey! Let us pray. Almighty God, we remember with thanksgiving those who gave their lives that we might now have peace. We pray for those who mourn their loss, for those who still carry on their bodies, in their minds, in their lives, the wounds of war. And as we give thanks for past sacrifice, we pray also for those who now serve in the forces of the crown. O Lord our God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping the men and women of the armed forces. We ask you to protect them from all danger to body and soul, to give them a loyal, courageous and disciplined spirit, to instill in them the love of justice and liberty, and to grant that they may be called to serve only for the establishment of peace throughout the world, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God grants to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all humanity, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and all those whom you love and pray for, this day and always. Amen. If there are any members of the public who want to lay any wreaths or crosses or whatever, uh, you can do it now. Now I'd like to call on the Deputy Mayor to make a little speech for us. Thank you. Stand up, order. Stand up. Stand up. Hey. Can I first of all thank you all for coming on this really important event and also for the organisation of the event, so thank you. I feel very privileged to join you here today, the 73rd anniversary of the surrender of the armed forces of Nazi Germany. On the 8th of May 1945, the news the nation had been waiting for arrived. War in Europe was over. Six years of bloodshed that had killed approximately 382,700 members of the armed forces. 67,100 civilians had finally come to a close. Today affords us the opportunity to remember the courage and bravery shown by millions of men and women who served in many cases, died for their country during the Second World War. That we are here today as free men and women is testament to those who helped our country at its time of greatest need, both in the conflict zone and on the armed front. 73 years may have passed, but we will forever honour those who gave their lives, those who fought on the battlefields, and those who worked tirelessly on the armed front for us to live. We also remember those who fought in the First World War and in other conflicts around the globe. We must never forget. Thank you.
to the general public that assembled here today. Thank you so much for attending this event. Thank you. Anyone that wants to come up to the Mayor's Parlour to have a drink, please come up. Thank you.